How to find B2B clients on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Guys, I know that you want to find B2B leads on LinkedIn for free, but the reality is that LinkedIn is um, limiting its free access more and more. It gets your profile, limits your profile pretty quickly, the amount of people you can check out, the amount of people you can find. So if you're looking at all those older videos about LinkedIn lead generation, B2B stuff, um, this is not going to work. So we're in 2023 right now, so it is what it is. I highly recommend you get LinkedIn Sales Navigator Core. It's free for the first 30 days if you haven't tried it yet. It's very, very powerful. It's just that it's such a money-making machine. LinkedIn is the biggest business directory out there. And the stuff that allows that LinkedIn Sales Navigator, that it allows you to do is just so, so powerful. So I highly recommend you get it. It's just something that pays for itself in a heartbeat. I'm going to show you exactly how it works and uh, get, let's get right into it. So as I said, I'm in this video, I'm showing you how to find B2B clients on LinkedIn using Sales Navigator. So there are a bunch of prerequisites, so let's run them real through them real quick. Um, first, LinkedIn, your LinkedIn profile should be very, very clean and highly professional. Just like you are looking for top level best clients out there, your best clients are looking for top tier contractors, agencies, uh, whoever they want to do business with. And the best way, the easiest way to show them you're legit is by having a very professional organized LinkedIn profile. I know it sounds crazy, but many people check out their profile and they're like, ah, it's fine. No, it's not fine. You really have to put some effort into having a wonderful avatar photo where you're smiling, where you look professional, the light is right. Then you have to have a clear headline with a highly specific offer. Because once people check out your profile, they want to know exactly what you do. And this is your chance to strike a chord with exactly what they're looking for. Because your headline, especially if you're speaking their language, can be so powerful. I get quite a lot of people reach out to me because they read the headline and like, dude, like, can you please tell us about what exactly what you do? Like, that sounds so interesting. It sounds very inviting. That's why it's so important. At the same time, you need to be posting professional and useful content because once you start connecting with these people, well, guess what? They start seeing your content. And the more they see your content, the more they become accustomed to you, to your face, to your profile. And it becomes a lot easier to sell them afterwards because you've been sharing all this value throughout um, all this period of time whilst you're, once you're connecting with them and talking to them. So now that we've got this out of the way, I'm going to show you how to find B2B clients on LinkedIn using Sales Navigator. In this specific video, I'm showing you uh, these five stages. So having a tight ICP, finding companies, very fine companies, finding decision makers and connecting with them. So building a report and selling your thing is ultimately very important, but I'm not covering those in this specific video because, well, you know, it's a, it's, it's a huge subject on its own. I covered it in the previous video, so go ahead, check it out. It's really, really useful and it gives you all the puzzles to your, um, to your picture, basically. So let's get right into it. So everything starts with a tight ICP, a very tight ideal customer profile, because you cannot be just reaching to those guys and these guys and some other guys. So you really, really want to make sure that you are focused on a very specific company type. And for the matter of this presentation, I'm going to be focused. I'm going to pretend that I'm a, um, a digital marketing agency, an online agency that is looking to work with plumbers that have one to 10 people working in the company. They're based in New York City metropolitan area and they've got a website because I want to work with plumbers that have idea of what internet marketing, the digital marketing is. I don't want to be explaining that stuff to them. So I really want to want, want to work with people that are already out there and I can help them to improve. You can decide on your ICP, whatever that is, but I highly recommend that you keep it as tight as you possibly can. Now, the next stage in our process of finding B2B clients using LinkedIn is actually going to LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So once you're inside your profile, you go to the Sales Nav button, button here and you open it up. LinkedIn Sales Navigator dashboard is all over the place, but don't worry, you're with me, I'll help you out. Go to the search box here, click enter, loads up, click see all filters and um, here you've got two tabs. One is for leads and another one is for accounts. So if I was to translate it to simple English, this is people and this is businesses, this is companies. So given that we are looking for B2B sales, we're not 
sale selling to people directly and this is a mistake that everybody makes they go into lead search and they start trying to pinpoint the company from here and um and it's not how linkedin actually works because the way filters are it will show you like the people that you find are, are likely to work in uh different companies you know it can they can work in the same place uh, in different places at the same time have different roles in different companies at the same time but that's not how we do b2b lead generation okay we really need to go from um push away from companies first we have to find the companies and then inside those companies we find the decision makers that only that that's the only right way to do this inside linkedin so instead of going to leads we go to accounts and again seeing all filters and there you have it a bunch of filters that we are going to use as i said back to our icp one to ten people new york city usa plumbers have a website um company headcount a bunch of options here if you're looking for a company that has more people in it you are free to do so yeah you've got all sorts of different options here so i'm going to for 11 or oh, one to ten now I'm going to go to headquarters location and go in and type in New York. I got a few options here. So again, depending on what you're searching for, you will have your, uh, you will have your option. But again, I highly recommend you keep it as tight as possible. So if you're looking for like global sales, you know, if you're doing SaaS sales or something like that, don't just pick Australia, USA, UK, pick one country and then just go with it, you know? So New York City metropolitan area include now i have approximately 410,000 um company profiles here now i want to make it all about plumbers so to do this there are two options i can either go to the industry that's a that's a good filter it's one of the filters i actually use because it can give you some interesting insights but in this case it doesn't work so well so you type in plumbing and uh, you've got this category here once i click include I've got only like 16 results here. So not really nice. This filter can be powerful if you're not really sure about your ICP or if you're looking with a, with more people at the same time, like say they all belong to like this HVAC kind of thing and uh, you can find them here probably. Let's try it. But I, I don't, this filter, it might not work. Yeah, there we go. So that can be, you know, if you're looking for companies that belong to this specific category, this can be powerful. But in this case, not so good. Other filters, I don't use them that much. Yeah, um, because in this specific case, definitely not useful. Department headcount growth. Yeah, if you're looking for some massive company that has like this department growth, uh, whatever, you can definitely pick it. You know, it might be it might be acting as a powerful proxy of how well this specific department is doing. Another cool feature is annual revenue, but it doesn't work so well with smaller companies. So if you're looking for like smaller companies, this is almost useless because it's it's pretty inaccurate to be honest. So now that we've got these two placed, I need to find the plumbers. How do I find the plumbers? I go to the search keywords box right here. And what it does is that once I type in a keyword, it basically filters, scans through all of these companies that are here in the list. And it scans through all of them and spits out everything only those companies that include the specific keyword inside them. So I'm going to type in plummet. And I'm going, ugh, come on, man. There we go. And that's it. So we're down to approximately 1,000 results. This search box has um, a bunch of cool features that I'm going to show you. They're called Boolean search. So this is advanced LinkedIn search. So every time you are looking for something more specific or you want to clean out the results a little bit if you're seeing that you're not getting a lot of you know for example you might be here but then you get all sorts of like recruiters or other agencies which are basically the competitors of mine for this in this specific example and you want to take them out so this is when this like this boolean search stuff can be very very useful so it's got all sorts of i'm not going to go into much detail here but like i'm going to illustrate this specific point not searches so this is when you want to take out anything that you don't want to be included so for example i want to work with plumbing but for example i don't want to work with anybody who includes the word solutions in their company profile so i'm going to type in not here in all caps and then then type in solutions 
and uh, I just want to show you. So this word solutions is right here. I'm going to click search, enter, and it's out. So not anymore. So it's really, really powerful. So for example, if there were any recruiters, I can use this recruiter or agency. So I don't want to work with any agencies or recruiters. I don't want to have any of them in the list. I want to keep my list clean. So here I'm saying that I want to work with companies that include Plumin in their description, not recruiter. So anybody that mentions recruiter or agency, like they will be taken out. So I'm going to click enter and here my result list is pretty clean apparently from the start. So I don't get that problem that much. However, this can be very, very powerful. So I advise you to use that if you're seeing your results not being very, very clean. Now we found those companies. Isn't that cool? And I just want to kind of pause here for a moment and to just illustrate how powerful this is, because right now you know that you've got 1000 companies potentially in reality a lot less. And I'll show you why in a moment. You've got all these companies here and it makes it so much easier for you to actually understand how big is the market. Like, you know, that inside New York City metropolitan area, there's no more than 1000 companies that are plumbers that fit your ICP. Isn't that crazy? So now you can instead of like just wasting all the time searching for all sorts of people or God forbid spamming them with cold emails. You can really focus on building relationships with the decision makers inside these companies and um, it just transforms your business entirely. I just want to like really, you know, like show it to you just how powerful this stuff is. But anyway, so we found these, uh, we found the companies right now. So with the second, the second step, step number two, now we need to verify the companies to verify the companies. All I need to do is basically check out their websites. And I just want to show you a few examples here. So I picked the first three. So again, I'm opening up and I'm opening them in separate tabs for um, my comfort. I open it up and there's a button here, visit website. So I'm going to click these three buttons here and here and here to open up their websites and to just understand, look through them real quick and make sure that they fit my ICP. So Plumbing Solutions, legit website, the phone number is local, um, the email address is legit, the website looks absolutely amazing, that's a keeper, that's a definitely, it's a great website, they've got their location here, wonderful, so that's a keeper. So I'm going to close the website and I'm going to keep their, to keep their LinkedIn page here. So next one is this, and the moment I look at it, I'm like, is your plumber licensed? So it seems that it's actually a, not a plumber, a plumber business, but instead they're licensed in plumbers. So this is not my, this is definitely not my target audience because I'm looking for plumbers. I'm not looking for plumber certification resources, websites, whatever they are, foundations. I'm going to close this one. So that's why it's so important to actually look through the website because then you don't waste all this other effort into further like trying to reach out to them trying to strike a conversation with them, etc. Like you take them out right from the very start, saving a lot of time afterwards. Um, final website here. So uh, Jamaica, New York, United States, eight employees, some revenue, whatever. Checking it out. Uh, this website, yeah, I request a quote. We've got a phone number, local phone number. Okay, looks, uh, looks, looks okay. Okay, I'm going to keep it. I have some doubts about this website, but let's, I'll keep it and we'll close it here. So I've gone through the list of these three websites and uh, I took out the second one because it doesn't look good. And I've got these two um, that are good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click this checkbox here in front, uh, beside this option. Yeah, the, the one that I verified is uh, legit and this one. So now all I need to do is actually check out their employee list of their employees. So view current employees is the button that lights up the moment I check at least one of these companies. So you can also like check them all like 25 selected and open them up like that. If they all fit, like, you know, if you verify your websites, they all look nice, they fit great. So you can click them all and view current employees of all of these websites. So these two, and again, I'm holding the control command button to open up these, um, the separate tab because it's just, again, you want to keep everything in this page because you won't be, you won't be able to get back to it after you kind of start filtering things out inside, uh, inside LinkedIn, like this, this, uh, other, 
other tabs. So that's why I like keeping it here. And then I'll go to the page two. You know, once I go through all of these options of the all of these companies here, I go to the page two and do the same thing and so on and so on. So now I'm here in this LinkedIn e sales navigator option. Again, see all filters. And I've got these two companies and I've got all of their employees right here, 14 results. So I'm going to start off by excluding. So generally if I have, um, well, definitely more than one company, but suppose I have 25 companies here, I'm going to exclude them all just like I did with plumbing solutions here and have just the first one included because I'm working through them one by one by searching for their decision maker. So this is the decision maker search part. So I want to uh, look at those companies one by one. Now, these companies are pretty small, but say if they were like huge, like, you know, like 50 plus people, it would be pretty hard for me to scroll through their employees here. I only got like nine results. But if I was, if I had like 50 results, 200 results, how do I find for the decision maker quickly? Well, LinkedIn is a really cool filter here, which is the seniority level. So not job title, not function, seniority level. So you go, you can add like, owners or partners, you can add seniors, you can add anybody who's like C-level here. Depending on the size of the company, you will have a different decision maker. So you know, if it's like 40 to 50, you might find a CMO, chief of marketing officer, or somebody else responsible for whatever it is that you're selling, okay? If the company's even bigger than that, might maybe somebody who is a senior, yeah, will work. Sometimes companies are being weird and then they call their, uh, call their employees differently you know so um, yeah sometimes you would actually need to speak to a senior like you would need to turn on the senior filter uh, for like a CMO to show up <laughs> in the list so generally speaking I like to add uh, C-level guys owners and partners S yeah senior I mentioned um, and C-level owner partner C-level seniors uh, directors sometimes vice presidents maybe depends depends on the type of the company as well so these are my filters and right now i'm not going to add anything they're tiny companies one to ten people i can see the owner the main guy right away now let's let's look through the employees and um it's interesting yeah because i'm seeing all like these guys they're all based in india 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 isn't that something? So the website says it's located in New York, New York City metropolitan area, and it had the local. Um, it had that local. Like again, we can go back here real quick. It had the local website. Everything was nice. The phone number. Yeah, see this American phone number, American country code. Uh, everything looks great. But once we look at their employees, well, <laughs> they're all located in India. So that is definitely not in our ideal customer profile so we will um not work with this specific website we will just exclude it and do not connect with anybody because these guys they have their own capacity what happens here is well they probably operate like a rank or a rank and rent model where they rank this website they bring some traffic they get some leads and then they maybe sell those leads to uh, um to uh, real plumbing companies or um, maybe they rent it out to somebody. Yeah, so that can be the case as well. Like this phone number, it might be a phone number of a real plumber that doesn't have a website. And these guys, they just, uh, he pays them whatever money a month and then they rent it out to him and that's how, op how it operates. Whatever that is, it's not our, it's not within our ICP. So I'm going to exclude it and I'm going to go to the second option here, which is Plumbing Solutions, the first website we checked out. Here's our guy, owner, Don Mayer. And now, so we found the website, we verified the company, find, we found the decision maker, and now it's time to connect with them. So we go into here and to connect with him, I'm going to click his name right here. And I'm going to, like you get this sidebar open up by LinkedIn Sales Navigator on the right. So what you do now is you click these three dots and there's this button called uh, View LinkedIn Profile. Again, Control Command to open it up in a separate tab and it opens up their profile here. Now, why I do this whole thing with a profile opening up? Well, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is almost like a shadow social network, shadow to a re, like a standard free LinkedIn. So 
if you were to reach out to them here, like if you click connect to a view profile, like it can view profile here, it opens up their separate profile inside the sales navigator. So you can see it looks different. This is the LinkedIn standard free. And this is um, sales navigator. You can also see it's very, very different from the URL structure. Okay. Now, once you try to connect to the guy inside the sales navigator, you will if he accepts you will have the guy inside LinkedIn sales navigator. So you also have a separate messaging box like a separate inbox here. And uh, it creates all sorts of mess. So that's why I don't recommend connecting to them here because once you also, if you cancel your LinkedIn sales navigator or something, I don't recommend you do anyway. But even if even if you do, um, you will lose access to this profile. You will need to connect to them again and you will not see the messages anymore. So that's why you have to connect with the person right from the start, connect them right here and uh, inside the LinkedIn, free standard LinkedIn, and uh, you'll be fine going forward. Now, the connecting strategy. Um, so we did a couple of tests and um, typically, like if you provide a good enough personalization notes, your connection requests, um, connection request conversion rate actually increases. Not always, because people tend to write crappy personalized notes and um, that's why they don't get accepted. But if you do it right, it actually goes up. However, it's not very cost effective because you spend so much time on doing a legit personalization note. So instead, I advise you to just send a connection request without doing any form of personalization. So just send a connection request like this and you will be fine. So typically you will get maybe a connection request approval rate of like 10 to 20 plus percent, depending on your niche, on your profile and all those things. That's why you want to keep everything professional. So once they if they accept, perfect. If they don't, you wait for maybe a week or 10 days and then withdraw the connection request and then try again in three weeks because this is the minimum amount of time LinkedIn allows you. Um, LinkedIn needs to pass before you can send them a connection request once again. And this second attempt, you can actually personalize it a little bit. You know, maybe that's maybe that's what they needed so that you don't waste any time and effort on people who would accept your um, connection requests anyway at the very start. And if they don't accept your connection request, you can try again in three weeks and uh, repeat the cycle basically that way. That's about it, guys. That is how you, how to find B2B clients on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And we've gone through all of these stages. I highly recommend you check out my videos on optimizing LinkedIn profile, avatar, background image, headline, and also videos on building report and uh, how it all works, how to reach out to your ideal clients on LinkedIn through direct messages, what to say, what stage and so on and so forth. I show you the real example reel uh, there as well. So go ahead, check it out. I hope this video serves well. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, leave me a comment or question. I'll be there to help you out. I'll see you in the next video.